Hi again, welcome to the garage, Jean Pierre. Uh, before we go to the uh, more unusual characteristics of uh, the subject of today, titanium, we'll talk about more the practical uses uh, and uh, you know the facts about it. We'll be uh, putting up some general information, basic knowledge, though nothing very advanced, but just uh, to kind of demystify a little bit the uh, titanium. Uh, color of titanium first. It's uh, rec recognizable by its more silvery color. Uh, it's um, Compare steel. This is not a clean piece of steel, but steel will be more uh, grayish, more uh, you know, um, darker a little bit. Aluminum will be uh, more like uh, very much lighter than this. So, this is one of the characteristics by color. Actual grade. That there are a few grades that are mainly in use. So the the, the mostly used uh, grade, which uh, occupies the uh, bigger biggest part of the market, is the grade five here, which is this is an actual piece of grade five. Grade five is. Um, some titanium that's uh, composed of a uh, six percent aluminum and uh, four percent vanadium uh, this can vary a little bit i mean the different companies will produce uh, you know very slight uh, differences in their percentage there but very close to that you got many other alloys but they're not as popular as this the other alloy that is pretty popular also is uh, the grade two uh, not as much as the grade five, but uh, this is 99% plus pure uh, titanium. So uh, this is used for more for uh, you know general general work and uh, just uh, non-specific work. One other characteristic that uh, you know you might be interesting to know. Uh, this is a pretty uh, strong magnet there. Um, this is a uh, grade five, grade two, same thing. Titanium is non-magnetic whatsoever uh, this is steel there you go and uh, this is magnetic beside being uh, non magnetic titanium is uh, very impervious to uh, harsh environments solvents uh, it's very corrosion resistant uh, the fact that it's very corrosion resistant this quality will make it uh, a very important uh, material used in the biomedical uh, you might you want to make tools you want to make implants you want to make instruments this is the uh, first choice for uh, you know biomedical uh, environment uh, you make implants uh, it's non toxic uh, when uh, introduced into the uh, human body as opposed to uh, stainless steel that may induce toxic uh, toxicity into the uh, human body and create uh, very uh, very bad problems one of the sector when the uh, titanium is really um, a big advantage is uh, aerospace and uh, automobile uh, industries uh, being as about as strong as steel for about 60 percent of the weight of a piece of steel so um, you will um, you will get a, a, an obvious advantage on the weight uh, let's say here this is a piece of a I weighted this it, it weighs like 1.96 kilogram 4.3 uh, pounds if this was a piece of steel this is titanium if it was a piece of steel the weight would go 3.4 kilograms and 7.5 pounds for the same piece but as being tita titanium you gain like over 40 uh, about 40 percent of uh, you know a gain on the on the weight so it's very appreciable that aerospace and planes it's very costly to keep a plane in the sky so this is a good material um, also it's very uh, very flexible more flexible than steel it's uh, it can be bowed like uh, bowed or uh, you know uh, flexed many uh, many or more times and still without uh, without rupturing also stability to high temperature you can use this these alloys to much higher temperature than steel and still keep with the uh, char the uh, strength characteristics uh, in lower temperatures very much lower temperatures steel will become uh, more brittle and uh, titanium will resist to much lower temperatures without that brittleness so um, it's an ideal it's an ideal metal for uh, lots of st lots of stuff but there are a few cons on that uh, the sub of the cost uh, factor which is 50 to 60 times sometimes more than steel makes it uh, you know some something that you have to really think it over before you use it in some application because uh, this will uh, run you uh, an invoice like uh, you know your uh, your 
your primary primary matter will be uh, much more expensive. Also, machining titanium is uh, pretty much more difficult than tooling. It's pretty much more demanding. Uh, better conditions like coolant, flood coolant is just about required on this if you want to get uh, you know decent results. Also. Uh, for welding, it's pretty weldable. The thing is, uh, you need special conditions. You'll have to shield your uh, your old your entire work with a uh, argon or uh, inert gas to really uh, get the best of the welds. You know, if you want to control your welds, then uh, a shielded environment so uh, you know has to be it. And uh, not exactly for uh, first timers in welding. A neutral uh, characteristic of it is neither neither good or bad. It's a uh, it's a very uh, it's a very poor heat conductor, and uh, heat conduction almost rhymes with uh, electrical conduction. Just I got a few a few items there which uh, you know I got I got listed on the uh, board there. This gives you let's say the uh, some of the used uh, met metal metals into the um, you know the machining fields or industrial fields. Uh, this this is the density per uh, kilograms per uh, cubic meter, and this is the conductivity. This is heat conductivity for this uh, particular case here, which is the K. Uh, we'll use this as a you know the K factor as a uh, comparison uh, item. So titanium is like from 19 to 22. Let's say an average about 20 on the uh, conduct you know heat conductive uh, scale. If you want to get uh, steel, iron and steel, 73. It varies according to the alloys and the composition and uh, if you go to aluminum it's got 204 which is already a uh, much better heat than uh, electric electricity conductor if you want to go to the the best one silver silver is 407 it's uh, an excellent uh, heat conductor and it's, it's also the best uh, electrical conductor so um, and you got let's say uh, copper that just follows like uh, a little bit behind one characteristic of uh, titanium is a little bit like, uh, I don't know if you heard about magnesium, that uh, if you uh, work it out uh, pretty good, it will spontaneously uh, catch fire. Titanium is about on the same scale, so it's, uh, if you don't cool it, or if you work it too hard, or you make, you know, little, uh, little, uh, you know, uh, little tiny chips or something, you heat them up, and uh, they will, uh, they will just spontaneously burn into air when, once heated. So, uh, if you machine titanium, be sure to cool down your uh, material very good. Clean up your chip pan because if it catches in there, you'll have a. You'll see what. Uh, this just wait a few minutes and I'll show you something about that. You got other examples of met uh, metals. These are not used in machining because potassium uh, and sodium are like. You can um, let's say uh, they're soft enough to be mold molded by hands. Don't do it because it's very corrosive with hands. You know, like, uh, water and things. You drop these in water: potassium, sodium, and calcium. This will produce a uh, very violent reaction. Potassium will dance on water and explode. Sodium will dance on water and eventually explode. And calcium will uh, still have a pretty, uh, pretty bad reaction also. I hope you enjoyed the uh, few facts and uh, that I, uh, you know, enlightenments about titanium. So let's go to the um, to the more uh, recreative part of the uh, video now, which will be uh, hopefully uh, fun to see. If you got a chip pan full of chips. Uh, Things like that could happen, so uh, enjoy the rest. We're now going to have fun. It's recording. We have to celebrate spring with some fireworks. <laughs> fireworks, some yeah. Some special fireworks. Metal fireworks. Titanium fireworks. Uh, let's move the uh, precious stuff. No. Oh, yeah. Why? I want to keep my stuff. There are a few things I don't mind that they burn, but uh, a few things I don't want to lose. Well, it's funny that you move all your tools and you leave me here. Funny, real funny. You're not indispensable. Oh, yeah. uh, yes. I don't think I'll leave that shit. So uh, this is uh, a few titanium chips. If ever you overheat your titanium while you uh, machine, it doesn't take much. And it goes right in the pan. Let's see your uh, late pan or uh, you call the uh, late pan or uh, milling pan. Or just right off your face mill all over your garage and light your rags that you never found on fire. It's a very good way. Why is this always coming my way to smoke? Okay, there's a uh, coolant, cooling oil in there, a little bit. 
But uh, uh, let's get it to go white before this burns out. Give me, give me the. Let's uh, give it some more incentive. And watch your eyes; it uh, might burn. Right. Summer kickoff. Bah. <laughs> well, the oil would be better. But... You know what? You just burnt through the bottom. Pierre. The flames coming out the bottom. There you go. I don't see too much in the air. Oh yeah, we we uh, we just burnt the bottom of the. Uh... Pretty hot. Yeah. Summer kickoff. Bye bye winter. <laughs> All right, we like the heat. That piece of wood down there will keep it. Uh... I'm burning the uh, pavement. We hope. <laughs> Hopefully. This releases lots of heat. I mean, I'm like seven, eight feet away and I can feel the heat. The uh, titanium is mostly uh, mostly all consumed yet. It's about uh, It's about the end of it. Yes, <laughs> it's hot. Mm. Smoking from underneath. There's not much left to burn. Another shot of lighting. Wow, does that get hot? A little bit like magnesium. Not quite as violent as magnesium, but. Uh... Oh, okay. there we go. Hey, that's it. It's starting. It's self-sustaining. Oh, it's hot. Very. Oxidized, uh, oxidized titanium. No, I think we didn't go through it. Uh, it burnt by radium, that radiant heat. Uh, that's it. Made a bit big of a mess enough like that. And uh, whenever you're the one in charge of keeping the camera on, I got uh, days of editing. So like... Uh, oh, come on, Pierre, we can do another hour. Let's turn this off. Yeah, I know, I got to go. If you do another hour, I'll be uh, editing for two days. I got, got my lesson with you. And there's no hole in the bottom of the uh, the pot. the uh, The only reason why it, the only reason why uh, why it just uh, got the wooden fire is just the radiation, radiated heat. Hi, Bob from uh, Bob Flags and Batters. Hey, we're still uh, still losing it in good shape. Damn right. Thanks, Bob.